Hey guys, my name is That Quiet Kid, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform IPv6 DNS takeover attack. So we know that IPv6 has been around for a long time, but majority of the organizations use IPv4 in their internal network. But the issue here is Windows by default prefers IPv6 over IPv4. This basically means that the systems in your internal network will keep querying the DNS server asking for DHCP version 6 configuration that is IPv6. They will keep asking for IPv6. So we can take advantage of this by basically responding to those requests and assigning the systems IPv6. This will make us the primary DNS server and all the traffic in the network will go through us. This is this type of attack can be done using man MITM6 that is man in the middle 6. So I have started my Kali Linux and I will include the link to this repository by Dirk Jan. MITM6 is a tool created by Dirk Jam. So simply copy this pip install MITM6 command paste it in Kali. This will install MITM6. So run the command MITM6 dash domain preserve dot local and press enter. Okay, so now that uh, like whenever the systems will ask for IPv6, you will respond to them, give them IPv6 and become the primary DNS server and every traffic will go through you like attackers or Kali Linux is the primary DNS server right now. Now we need some type of authentication mechanism to basically capture anything like capture credentials. We need something like this. For that, we are going to be taking advantage of a protocol called WPAD. WPAD stands for Web Proxy Auto Configuration, which is a protocol which ensures that all the devices in the network are using the same web proxy configurations. So instead of like manually using different uh, proxy configurations for all the devices in the network. We use this protocol to uh, so that it automatically tries to detect the UR proxy URL which is stored in the pack file. So it will query the DNS server asking for the location of like the pack file. Once the pack file has been located, all the traffic to the web will go through that web proxy. So we can take advantage of this as we are the primary DNS server now. We can take advantage of this by hosting a fake WPAD. So by hosting a fake WPAD, we will receive the request for the pack file. Uh, when we, whenever a user or an application tries to access the internet, we will basically prompt it with a 407 error that is HTTP proxy authentication required. So basically we will ask it for the credentials and then we will capture and relay those credentials to the domain controller. So if it's a normal user, we will get domain information. But let's say a domain admin user tries to access the internet and we have captured his credentials. Uh, the NTLM relay will modify the ACLs and create a user with DC sync rights. So we know that domain controllers, if you have multiple domain controllers in your network, they remain uh, for remaining in uh, like sync with each other. They use DC sync, like domain controller sync. So it creates a user with DC sync rights and it allows that user to impersonate a domain controller and ask for the hashes and TLM hashes of all the domain users in the network from the ntds.dit file. So let's set up our ntlm relay in packet ntlm relay x dash 6 for ipv6 dash t for target which is ldaps domain control 10.0.2.16 dash w of Let's name it fake pad dot berserk dot local and dash l loot. 
so again i have one of my systems with a scheduled task running which will make a web request so as soon as i turn on the system it will ask for ipv6 we will assign it ipv6 and after that it will look for pack file it will come to us we will ask prompt that user for like give us your credentials as soon as we receive its credentials we, it will modify the acls and give a user get changes and get changes all like desync writes so let me turn on this server one which has a scheduled task running to make a web request so we just need for it to boot up as soon as it boots up it will ask for ipv6 we will assign it ipv6 it will make the web request and then we will okay so it asked for ipv6 okay it asked for wpad dot dot that file did it make a web request to google Okay, let me rerun it again. Okay, client requested path www.httpgoogle.com. Let me rerun it again. Okay, so authenticating against domain controller as Berserk Makima. So I created a scheduled task of user Makima. which will make a web request which you saw earlier using his credentials we were able to create a user adding new user with username this and password this success user now has a replication get changes all privileges on the domain that is dc sync rights now this user has dc sync rights on the domain so we can uh, we can basically dump all the hashes in the domain for that we will use secrets dump in packet secrets dump i forgot the url uh, dash dc dash ip 10.0.2.16 dash dc just dc preserk dot local slash i think username is and the password is add the red domain controller 10.0.2.16 okay as you can see we have successfully performed the dc sync attack and dumped all the hashes in the domain administrator krb tgt for golden ticket if you want to perform guts which was a domain admin user roast me aki no pass rbcd these are all the like we have dumped all the hashes of the all the hashes of the domain users so that's it for this video and thank you for watching